Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about processed foods and some of the dangers with consuming them because, you know, all of us have had processed foods, whether in our past, presently, or maybe sometime in the future, we'll be tempted and eat them. Um, I just want to say right off the bat that I am not perfect with my diet. There's a lot of things that I eat that are really unhealthy, and a lot of times I honestly feel like a hypocrite because I have over 700 videos, um, and I talk about really good things, really positive things, really encouraging things, um, and a lot of times I find myself not even practicing what I preach, you know, and I'm just here to be completely open and honest with everybody that watches my videos. I'm trying to become more healthy and eat better like so many other people out there. And I think that humility is at the core of what I want people to get from my videos and also from me as a speaker. I want people to understand that you know, I'm not perfect, you know, I don't have all the answers, but I like to critically think about a lot of things that a lot of other people say. Sure, I'm not a scientist, I don't even have any really education in nutrition or health, but I don't need to either, because I think that using my own reasoning, my own God-given mind, you know, I can critically think about things and come up with my own ideas or theories and through my own experience maybe be able to help others and also be able to help better myself and my health and that's really where I'm coming from you know I try to put things together in my mind and analyze things so that kind of sets me apart from you know a lot of the other youtubers out there because they have a very arrogant um, way to them. Um, they have a very know-it-all attitude. They have a um, holier-than-thou type attitude, an unwavering dietary dogma regimen that they follow 100% to the core, but they never, ever really admit to people that they mess up or that they screw up or that they're hypocrites, you know. So I tend not to listen to that crowd because I think if people are really going to take you seriously, they're going to want to know you as an individual. Like if you met the person in real life, like if you came here, you met me, you would know, you know, that I'm completely 100% honest with you guys here on YouTube. Um, and that's what I want people to understand about me is that, you know, I am telling you the truth here, and <clears throat> that will always be the most important thing, is the truth. So, I guess in this video, I just wanted to briefly say that, you know, in these processed foods, you have the really bad chemicals, preservatives, uh, food colorings, you know, these things have been linked to a lot of bad things, ill health, but I think some of the worst things in these foods isn't so much a lot of the chemicals, and they're all bad, and I'm not downplaying the significance of that, but I think that a really big um, problem with them is the really unhealthy, damaged, rancid fats that are in them. I'm talking about things like hydrogenated soybean oil and cottonseed oil and canola oil. These things are really bad fats. And anybody that knows a little bit about health knows that the body needs fat. Um, our brain is mostly made up of fat. Our cells need fat to function right. And if you don't get the right fat, or you get bad fat, your cells become abnormal. And that's when a lot of bad things start to set in. So, 
what we really need to do is try to get those out of our, you know, diet. And we need to get an oil change and start con including a lot of good fats, good oils. I, I once was, uh, when I was getting into nutrition, when I was younger and I was listening to this nutritionist radio show, uh, the nutritionist was talking about um, good fats and bad fats, and he would talk about coconut oil as being the oil from heaven because of its so um, many health benefits that it gives to the person that consumes it. And also how, you know, the body requires essential fats, um, omega-3 and 6. Your body can't make these on its own. You have to actually eat foods that have these fats in them in order to get them. And they're really, really important. They help your skin. They help your brain. They help your vision. They help your immune system. They help your digestion. And if you don't get these good fats, a lot of bad things will happen to you. Um, so it's really as simple as getting rid of these bad fats and putting in the good fats. Now, good fats would be things like butter, because that's been consumed for thousands of years, and that's a traditional, stable, healthy fat. Of course, you should get butter from cows that were out on pasture eating the grass, because that's what cows are supposed to eat, is grass. And grass will give the cows a little bit of omega-3. It's not something to completely rely on, because that's not your sole source or omega-3, but nevertheless, it still contains a good amount of omega-3, and some other really healthy fats. Um, so another great fat would be <clears throat> extra virgin olive oil, but you know, there's a lot of fake olive oils out there that are mixed in with canola and soybean and things like that, and you really want to get 100% olive oil. So California Olive Ranch actually comes from U.S., California. And it is real olive oil. If you research this brand, you'll find that that is the case. And it's deferred cold pressing, too, which is the best. Um, you know, in the Mediterranean diet, they're known for the consumption of olive oil, which has been shown to increase your longevity and help decrease the aging process. Jean Clement um, of France, who lived to be 123, I believe, um, contributed to longevity to the regular use of olive oil every day. And I, just a couple days ago, have started including about four tablespoons of this olive oil um, every day. I'll take it right off the tablespoon. You know, some people might want to put it on their food, but I don't have a problem just taking it. And I've noticed a couple things so far these past couple days. That is, I seem to have more energy. My brain seems to be functioning better. And my skin seems to be a lot more moist. So I take those as positive benefits from consuming it. It's, it's really a great, wonderful thing. And I also really like to use this on my skin. Um, I massage it in like every day. And it gives me really nice, beautiful skin, you know. I kind of crack up sometimes because I'm watching other YouTubers that have um, health and nutrition videos. You know, they talk about nutrition. And I don't know if, they're, if they just have, like, really flawless, unrealistic-looking skin that has no, like, color. They have no marks or nothing like that. Maybe some people are blessed to have those genetics. Or maybe they're using some type of peeler or they're using some makeup. Because a lot of these YouTubers use makeup. Or they tweak around with the video settings to make themselves look, like, perfect, you know. That's unnatural. I've never met a perfect looking person. But I can assure you that all of you that watch my videos, I don't use any makeup. You know, I, I don't use that stuff. All I simply use is olive oil on my skin. And, you know, I don't put chemicals or nothing like that on my skin. I only use real oil. Olive oil, uh, coconut oil, jojoba oil, real oil, real food on my skin. I don't use any lotions, potions, creams, chemicals, things like that, nothing like that. And I haven't for years. That is something that I can absolutely say with 100% conviction that I absolutely do. Um, and it certainly paid off, you know. 
I get told that I look pretty young for my age. So I attribute that to not only eating, you know, pretty healthy, but also using these good oils and things on my skin. Um, because a lot of those chemicals and things, they actually will damage your skin when you put them on. Um, so anyways, I use the olive oil and I also like this extra virgin coconut oil that they are actually selling now at Walmart and it's this was 36 fluid ounces extra virgin organic coconut oil um, smells just like coconut oil just like a really good brand like Nutiva because I've used Nutiva and that's a good brand too but this was a lot um, cheaper it was like 15 bucks but I like to take this internally I like to put it on popcorn it's just really fantastic you know I've been using coconut oil now for Oh, I'd probably say nine years, nine or ten years now. And so I think that the coconut oil is definitely helping me with my health. Um, but coconut oil has been helpful in people with dementia, like turning the light bulb back on in their brain so that they can start remembering things again. Um, and it helps boost the immune system because of its high content of lauric acid, which is also found in breast milk, which helps build the immune system when you're a baby. That's why being breastfed is very important. Um, but it's, it's, it's remarkable. It's a fantastic oil and it's definitely nothing to be afraid of. Um, the more oil I believe that you have in your diet, that's a good high concentration of calories. And that means less sugar and less carbohydrates. Sugar is known to cause you to age, and if you want stable blood sugar, if you want a lot of good energy, fats are where it's at. At least that seems to be the case for me. Uh, maybe it's not the case for someone else that's watching this. You'd have to kind of experiment and tweak your diet around. But nevertheless, the fats are definitely really good for you. And the other thing that's really good is these chia seeds, flax seeds cold water fish like salmon, they have um, omega-3 and omega-6, which are essential, meaning that your body, okay, can't make them. You have to get them from the food that you eat. And they're important for having supple skin, they're important for your immune system functioning right, they're important for your digestion, they're important for your vision, they're important for your brain. I mean, people that are on these really low-fat diets, um, tend to have really unhealthy looking skin, oh, real dry skin, real dry hair, amongst many other maybe neurological problems. It's just a whole host of cascade of things that can go wrong when you don't supply your body with good healthy fat. Um, and I don't think that a fat deficiency is really the problem today in the world at least not in America, I think the problem more is it's a deficiency of the good healthy fats because everybody's getting more than enough fat in their diet but it's the wrong type of fat. It's damaged and it's you know unhealthy and that's what's causing people to get fat and sick um, because the body was never designed to eat that stuff. You know, there's just food, and then there's poison. There's there's things that are inedible, that are non-nourishing. So you want to make sure that you eat real food. And it's really that simple. So, I guess the bottom line is here is make sure that you get these healthy fats in your diet because, in my honest opinion, they are really, really important in um, your body and in you wanting to become healthier. So with that, take care. If you like the video, please like, favorite, and subscribe.